Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki and today I'll be doing a super important tutorial for you guys and it's how to apply to UE. So many persons requested that I do this video because lots of persons just need a little guide or a little push when they're applying and know what to do. You know, so that's what I'll do for you guys today. So Let me start. Open your Google browser page and I'm just going to type in apply to UE and press enter. Then the next thing I'm going to do is select the first one. So you can see the UE little logo. So these are a legit page. So I select that. So while I wait for that, well, it's up right now, you're going to go to this page. And with this page, you can see a bunch of things. So you have undergraduate students, these are students coming from high school who does not have a bachelor's degree as yet. Graduate students, these are students who already have a degree and they're pursuing their master's or their PhD. And you have transfer applicants transferring from another university. And we have international students, these are students from abroad or overseas and so on. So the big button on our right here is apply now. So we're going to select apply now because that's what we want to do in this video. And it's going to take us to this page, student administration systems or SAS. We call it SAS and this is where we can check our grades, check how much your tuition is. This is a very important system. So because we're new to this, we're going to create an, create an account. So here, I'm just going to use a specific one. So I'm going to use Simone. I'm just going to use a makeup, made up one. Simone, uh, I'm going to call myself Maxine Green. And what's my email? I created an email for this page for you guys for me to do this so you guys are super important because I went ahead to create an entire email just to show you guys this Simone Maxine Simone Green 563 at gmail.com okay right so Simone Green 563 at gmail Okay, so Simone Green 563 at gmail.com. So I put in my first name, I put in my middle name, and I put in my made up last name, and I put in the email that I created just for this video. And I'm going to read all the terms and conditions. Please read them. And then I'm going to select I have read the conditions and create my account. So Look what this info in green says. A message was sent to the email address you provided. Check the message for further instructions. So just have your email open. So here, I jump over there. And look, we see I got an immediate email from your registry, Urimona Admissions. And this gives me my account information. So it's a hello Simone Green, an account was created for you to apply for the admission to one of the programs at Uimona campus. Please verify your email address by clicking the link below. So I'm going to click the link below to verify my e email address to say, hmm, I'm not a scammer. Unfortunately. Then I'm going to set up my account. So here I have my email address you see my name after i verify the email address and i'm going to use a password so i'm going to just type in my password and confirm this password by typing in the same thing twice and i'm going to set a password so my password is set and I'm ready or to proceed or ready to begin my application. So if you look, password is now set, proceed to log in. So I'm going to log in by typing in my email address, Simone Green. 
it was what was it again five six three yes at gmail.com i think so i think so yes 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 five six three at gmail.com and then just use my password that i created and i'm just going to press i agree and log in so here we are beautiful so my applicant id here is five six nine one three six and look out how mannerable they are welcome Simone they're welcoming me welcome Simone please enter and edit the following section so here is where you are and you're just going to add your personal information so let me just show you a little bit of each one of them so here for personal data you're going to fill in your name your last name just the things you did your gender your date of birth your national id number your marital status whether you're single you're married mm -hmm. yes and you're going to move on to your denomination so everything that you see where these red what do you call this asterisks are they're important so you have to put those in if you don't see an asterisk beside them it's not mandatory it's optional whether you want to put it or not like middle name here there's no asterisk so you don't have to put a middle name so yeah so you just enter all your information here your personal information for this section when you're finished you're gonna press continue so I showed you that so let me go back to the main menu there's another one that says your contact information your personal address your telephone number your emergency contact that is basically who can they contact in case there's an emergency or something is wrong with you or something we're not calling it but just say there's something of importance and they need to call somebody for you who's responsible for you, your parents your husband so on and so forth so that's it for the contact section then another one is choice of campus so this is uh the program your major this is where you select your major so you're you're going to first start with academic year when do you want to come in do you want to come in 2020 do you want to come in so and so yeah and the campus where do you want to come to you do you want to come to mona and kingston do you want to come to western jamaica campus do you want to go to bahamas where there's a ue the different places where you have you which one of them you want to go to you'll select that for campus Select the level, whether you're undergraduate, you don't have a degree, or you're coming to pursue a second undergraduate degree, or graduate is if you complete a degree already, and you're coming back for your master's or your PhD. I hope that is, I explained that properly. And the major of your choice, this is where you have a two choices. So you can select a major, your first choice. Say you want to do dentistry, you select dentistry and then medicine is your second choice. You select medicine as your second choice and it has side choices. So if you want to do dentistry, you do dentistry at Mona. You select where you want to do it. Do you want to do medicine at Western Jamaica campus? You select the choice where you want to do these degree or these majors so yes you have two majors so in case you don't get through for one they probably accept you for the other or give you another option so that's that back to the main menu so we did personal data applicant contact information choice of campus high school attended so this is not bad this is just your high school your high school sir so i'm from Denby high school big up all of y'all yes and you just put in the information of which high school you went let me look at my nice school there we are Denby high school right there and you just put in if it's not in the list probably yours you're an international student or your school that is not very popular popular in the system so you can just type it in just in case you don't find it in the list and you put in your completion date when did you complete high school or when did you graduate blah 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 so that's that.
and the college is attended. So if you already have a degree or you're transferring from somewhere else, you can just fill out this information right here. The attended date, the degree, when, wh when was your degree awarded, what was your major, your minor, and your GPA. So if you have not attended a college yet, don't worry, you don't have to fill out this section. So just for the people who already attended a college. So the next one is exam results. So here they give you this pop-up thing to tell you that you can leave the grades empty in case you have not sat this yet. So if you're in uh, if you're in lower six and or you're in upper six and your results are not out yet do not go and put chemistry i got a one or you want a one do not put that you have to wait until your grades are out to send them a copy of your results again so you just leave it blank if in case you don't get that grade yet or you have not uh sat that subject yet so i know you y'all got a lot of subjects so they have a lot of things here that says add record so as you put in one so i put c sec additional math you put your grade so you get a grade one or whatever and then you put the data when you did the exam then you're going to add a record blah 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 they don't want you to leave anything empty so let me just put hopefully this works out since it's not official say i'm going to say i did it may 24 so let me add a record uh-huh so yes they accepted that and i'm going to you're going to see it over here, the so CSEC additional math one, and I did it on the 24th of May. You can find the date you did it on your CSEC timetable. And then I add another record to add another subject. So you can you continuously add the rest of your subject until you reach your maximum subjects, which is the 25 and the 27 subjects that y'all come in, in with these days. Yes, so you add all of those. Impressive, guys. Impressive. Very good. I like it. Then that's basically it for adding your CSEC. And you do the same thing for CAPE. CSEC, CAPE, or the community colleges that you went to, all those certificates that you have, you add it there. So back to the main menu. So yes, just I forgot to say this right here. When you've completed a section, you'll see a green tick. So if it's still a yellow, not yellow, my God, you see a red X. So you know that this section is not completed. So in order to submit your application, you have to complete all sections to see your green ticks on all sections. So you can also put your employment records to show them you're well-rounded. Did you do NYS? Did you have a little summer job? Just put it here to show them. Say, yes, man, you have this and them want you, you know? Mm -hmm. And the financial resources here. Well, it's not going to be fun for me. Oh my. What's wrong with this? Why not? No, no, no. Well, I guess not. But the financial resources section is basically telling them how you're going to pay. So if you have student loans, if your parents are paying it for you, so on and so forth. So that's that. And another thing is the referee form. So here they just ask for two references. So... You can use your high school principal, you can use your pastor, your JP, your doctor, just somebody to say um, so-and-so, Simone Green was so-and-so, was a very good, well-rounded student, blah, 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 just in case they called. But hint, hint, guys, they won't call anybody at all. But you still need to add your references just in case they change it up and they start calling these people because lots of scammers are coming into the university these days to get qualified so we have qualified scammers these days which is impressive but very wrong so so that's that for all the sections happily i went through them if you have any more questions about the sections drop them in the comment sections below and over here is just a general application submission requirements so what do you want so your birth certificate or your passport so they want a form of identification if you're married mm -hmm. you just give them your marriage certificate 
your transcript from high school and your exam results so all supporting documents you should upload them before you submit your application okay so if you're what they're basically saying it says all supporting document must be copied and certified before they're uploaded so what they're saying is that you are going to photocopy them probably certify it let somebody sign it maybe a jp or maybe a school principal to say these documents are official documents i don't know how y'all uh officiate your documents yes so just do that and just scan it and you're going to upload it to the system so they just tell you what you need there and based on your degree based on your deg the degree that you have they will tell you the different forms you need say for instance you're applying to med school the forms are different from if you're applying to an accounting degree mm -hmm. so they'll tell you the different forms you need based on your major that the major that you selected and it will pop up here so you're going to submit your application Mm -hmm. and you're going to submit all your supporting documents right so in order to submit your supporting documents like your birth certificate your marriage certificate your academic certificate as I said before you can select this link and you're gonna choose a file so here, what are you submitting? I'm submitting my birth certificate and I'm going to choose file and it's going to pop me up to my the different things that I have right here and I'm going to select my file. And yeah, it's the same thing throughout and you select all the files that you need to submit. Your autobiography sketch, you select it and so on. And you just press upload document. So I would suggest that you like upload all the documents before you submit the entire application. And if that doesn't work, you can just do one before the, the other it will always be on your system because you have a specific ID number or a specific number, a specific email and your specific password. So yeah, submit all the important documents that you require and upload document now. So you can choose to upload them or you can choose them, choose to bring them in physically at the administration office but either works so what works for you if you're not from kingston you're all the way in westmoreland i would not advise you to come to kingston to drop off some documents i would say just upload them and they'll process the application and so on and so forth so guess what guys here is a submit application button when you're finished all of the nice things that i told you just select submit application and they'll send you the confirmation email that they got it blah 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 and they're reviewing it and you get a response soon so that's basically it for our tutorial and how to apply for you if you have any more questions just drop them in the comment sections below and we'll be more than happy to help so that's it guys thank you so much for watching bye see you next time